Welcome to the second tutorial on Typeability. This tutorial is designed for teachers and assistants. I'm David Pinto, the developer of Typeability, and the most thorough program for teaching keyboarding and computer skills to the blind and the visually impaired. Now, in this tutorial, we're going to finish showing you the different types of keyboarding lessons and games. So let's have Engelbert sign in and use him as an example of a typical student. Windows M Desktop. Press the letter F. F. Fun with Typeability. Enter Typeability dialog. Good afternoon and welcome to Typeability 4. I don't know your name yet, so either you or your assistant should type your first name then a Okay, here we go. E N G E L E R T Base Y. Enter. Well, well, hello Engelbert, it's just m -m -m marvelous to see you once again. Wow, I just saw you earlier today. Welcome back. Now, in your last session, you completed the last lesson you were working on. It was lesson 4? Well, would you like to go to the very next lesson, lesson 5? To do that, all you have to do is press F2 twice quickly. Okay, but before we press F2 to go to the next lesson, let's open up the dialog with a list of lessons and see what's actually in lesson 5. Now, as you recall, running typeability is a cinch because you just use your PC keyboard's function keys, and if you look at the top of the typeability screen there, you will see pictures of what each function key does. So we can see that F3 will open the list of keyboarding lessons. Pick a lesson or task dialog. One. The top row. Escape and function keys. Okay, so let's go down to lesson five and see what it teaches. Two, three, four, five. The enter key, the arrow keys, and numpad delete. So, very early in the lessons, you're going to learn the enter key, the arrow keys, and the delete key. The numpad enter key is taught rather than the enter key in the main section because numpad enter is so easy to find. It's the very furthest key to the right at the very bottom. And the arrow keys in the midsection are taught so that students can start moving around text fields, which is exactly what is taught in the very next type ability lesson. Let's open this up with the right arrow and see the tasks in this lesson. Open 5. The enter key. Level 2. Space. Enter 1 of 10. A arrow. Space. Enter 2 of 10. Up arrow, down arrow, space, enter, left arrow, space, enter, left arrow, right arrow, space, enter, all four arrows, keys, then space, enter, enter, delete, 7 of 10. Aha, and the delete key that is taught is the one right next to the numpad enter. Again, a very easy key to find. Of course, in later lessons, the student is also taught the enter key in the main section and the arrow keys from the numpad. Now, rather than starting Lesson 5 from this dialog, let's return to the main typeability screen and start Lesson 5 by pressing F2 twice quickly. So we press Escape. Escape. Dialog closed. Then F2 twice quickly to go to the next lesson. Next lesson. Lesson 5. The Enter key, the arrow keys, and numpad delete. Rather than doing Lesson 5, let's go to the next lesson again. We can just press F2 twice quickly. Next lesson, lesson six, moving the typing cursor with right and left arrows. Okay, I'll stop Jaws from talking. Now recall, whenever we want to be reminded of what to do, we can press F1 twice quickly. So let's do that right now. Type the word ask, then left arrow to the beginning of the word, then right arrow to the end of the word until you hear blank, then press numpad enter. Type ask. A S K. Left arrow. K S. A. Right arrow. S. K. Blank. Now press enter. Enter. Ask. B -b beautiful task two. All right. Now in this task, you're going to type the word salad. Okay. I'm going to bypass this message just to move along. S. A. L. A. D. Then left and right arrow through the word. S. A. L. A. D. Left arrow. D. A. L. A. S. Right arrow. A. L. A. D. Blank. Then press enter. Enter salad. Terrific task three. Now, before we do our next task, I want to explain to you what actually happens when you press the right arrow or the left arrow. When you press the right arrow or the left arrow, you move the typing cursor to the right or to the left. The typing cursor? What is a typing cursor? Well, it's just like the typing head on the Braille typewriter. Well, this is the payoff. This is where the student 
gets an understanding of what the typing cursor is, the fact that characters are typed to the right of wherever the typing cursor is, that a delete key will delete the character to the right of the typing cursor, that the backspace will delete the character to the left. This is the beginning of an understanding that sighted people take for granted. Now, let's escape from this dialogue and take a look at some of the other keyboarding lessons. Press escape. Escape. Type ability. Dialogue closed. Okay, let's press F3 twice quickly. Pick a lesson or task. Let's press number 7 so we jump to that in the list. 7. New letters left hand above the home row. Q W E R. Aha, uh -huh. so now we're learning in lesson 7 above the home row. And the next four lessons are devoted to that. 8. Word practice, home row and above, 9, 10, 11, 12. Game 1. Find the missing letter and type it. This is the game that I wanted to show you. So let's display its task by pressing the right arrow. Open. Game 1. Level 2. Snack. 1 of 10. Well, the title of this game is Find the Missing Letter, Then Type It. Snack. Hmm. Orang. 2 of 10. Orang. Maybe that's orange, so maybe E is the missing letter. Abbott. 3 of 10. Airpod, 4 of 10. Probably airport, eh? Elephant, 5 of 10. Elephant. Slad, 6 of 10. So let's go ahead and run this game. Level 1, 12. Game 1, enter. Game 1, alright, this is the first of many fun games you will be playing. You will be given 10 tasks, and each task is worth 100 points. So the top score is 1,000 points. Now in this game, a word will be printed on the screen, but one of the letters will be missing from the word. So it's your job to find where the missing letter goes. Now, in this first task, the word on the screen is missing the letter E. And if you add the E in the right place, then the word spells the name of a reptile that has no legs and crawls on the ground. So, go ahead and and find out where you need to add the missing letter E, then press numpad enter. Go for it. So I'll press the up arrow. Snack. And then I'll right arrow. N. A. K. Blank. I'll add the E there, and it'll make E. Press up arrow. Snake. I think I got it. Enter. Snake. Papa beautiful 100 points task 2. Okay, add the letter E so that the word becomes the name of a delicious fruit that you can squeeze in order to make juice. Press up arrow. Orang. Aha. Uh -huh. R A N G blank. Add the e. e. And then press the up arrow. Orange. Oh, this is working. Enter orange. Ta -ra 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 200 points. Task 3. Okay, add the letter R to the word on the screen so that the word becomes the name of a small animal that hops on the ground. Okay, let's see. Up arrow? Abbott. A. Oh, that's easy. R. Rabbit. Enter rabbit. That's just great. 300 points. Task 4. Notice that it tells me my points. Now through the miracle of video editing, I'm going to skip to the last task. Dream of remarkable 900 points. Okay, Engelbert, here's the final task in this lesson. Once again, this is just like the previous task. Just add one letter and you will spell the name of one of the states in the United States. South Carolina. O U T H C A R O L I N blank A South Carolina enter South Carolina Slam dunk that was absolutely perfect you actually nailed the whole game you scored an unbelievable 1000 points that was just terrific and Goldberg you are the bomb and you did it in 4 minutes congratulations thank you now if you want to repeat the game in order to get a faster time just press F2 three times quickly or to just go to the very next lesson press F2 twice quickly I can press F2 three times quickly to repeat and get a faster score, and believe me, students get very competitive in these games, and the skills that they gain from trying to get better scores are remarkable. The other option is to press F2 twice to go to the next lesson, or press F3 twice quickly and open up the keyboarding lesson list and pick a lesson from that list. Now, normally, students should take all the lessons in order. So the keyboarding lesson list should not be used to jump ahead so much as jump backwards to repeat previous lessons. F3 twice quickly. Pick a lesson or task dialogue. Okay, and now we're going to page down. Page down, 14. And 15, I'm going to move 17, to... 18, phrases, home row and above. Let's open that up and see the tasks. Open, 18, level 2, flip-flop, 1 of 11. Ripe apples, two of okay, now you can see you have several words at the same time, using the letters that we've learned in the previous lesson. Air is free, ten of eleven. Let's run that. Enter. Lesson 18, phrases, home row and above, task 10. 
All right, Engelbert. Now here's three words to type. Air is free. Then press space. Okay, that here we go. A I R space. I I know type S. That's S as in Sue. S, you did it. Now press the space. Space. And as always, I can press F1 twice quickly if I don't know what to do. Type the word free. It's spelled F R E E. F, you did it. Now press the R. R, you did E. E. Space. Perfect. Now one last time, Engelbert. Now, I can run a race. Up there on the top of the screen, to the side, you can see F5, race keyboarding. Let's press F5 twice quickly. Engelbert, are you ready to rumble? Because as soon as you start typing the words there is free, type ability will start timing exactly how fast you type. Then, when you hear bells or a car honk, stop typing and type ability will tell you how fast and how accurately you type. Okay, I can do that. A I R space I S space F R E E space A I R I S F R E E space A I R I S F R E E space A I R I S F R E E space A I R I S F R E E space A I R I Okay, Engelbert, you typed 52 words per minute, and your accuracy was 100%. A, a terrific 100% accuracy. Now, if you want to run the same race again, just press F5 twice quickly. You can also stop racing and return to your normal typing lesson by pressing F2 twice quickly. Okay, so I can run the race again, which students love to do, until they get as fast and as accurate as they can. All they have to do is press F5 twice quickly again, or return to the lesson with F2 twice quickly. Next task. Okay, Engelbert, here's the final task in this lesson. Engelbert, can you type these three words? We feel full. Then press space. Okay, and let's examine another type of keyboarding lesson. F3 twice quickly. Pick a lesson or task dialog. And now the modifier keys. Alt, Shift, and Control. Type ability teaches the control keys first. They're very easy to find. And once the student is used to finding the left and the right control, finding left and right shift is very easy. 19. The control keys. Control plus a letter closed. Let's open it and look at the tasks. Open. 19. Level 2. Control plus F. 1 of 7. Control plus A, Control plus S, Control plus O, Control plus P, 5 of 7. You can see that these are also commands. Enter. Lesson 19, the control keys, Control plus a letter, task 5. OK, Engelbert, now type the keys, Control plus P, then numpad, enter. Control plus P is the command for opening the print dialog so that you can print your document on paper so that sighted people can read it. Go ahead and type, Control plus P, then numpad, enter. Do it four times. OK, I can do that. Control plus P. No, use the left control, not right control with the P. Uh -huh. So type ability insists on using the correct control key, which is the opposite hand from the hand that's pressing the letter. So left control and P. Control plus P. You got it. Now press the numpad enter. Enter. Well done. Again, type control plus P, then press numpad enter. Control plus P. Right, enter. Good job. Again, control plus P. Yeah, enter. No, use enter from the numpad. Aha, right there, I used the wrong enter. Enter in the QWERTY section has not been taught yet. So, okay. enter. You got it one last time. Control plus P. Good. Enter. So super da duper. That's enough for part two of the tutorial. Pressing escape three times. See you later, alligator.